and welcome to the second episode of A Month of Turbomus. Today we're playing Outro, which is an arcade game from Sega back in 1987, and then put out for the PC Engine by AC. <coughs> anyway, this game is... It, it's pretty cool. It's one of my favourite kind of this style of 2D races, and this is a pretty, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's a pretty accurate arcade port. Um, in terms of options, too many just kind of rank a few other options, it's very sparse. Um, like I said, it's a pretty good port of the arcade game, and I'm just going to play it for 20 minutes. Um, this is the second episode in a uh, series, and... There's nothing else to say, really. Let's just get on with this. My god, my throat is starting to... What is going on here, right there? Alright. That was awful. But, um, yeah. I've switched from a keyboard to an actual controller now, so I don't get tons of little key taps and stuff in. So let's go. So as usual, we get to pick through three different tracks. This is an actual audio at the moment. Um... I think we'll go for Passing Breeze now. I think we'll just kind of start and just see how far we can go. I don't think we can, know if we can change stage or anything like that, so. I think we'll just go for Passing Breeze. Let's go, I guess. Here we go. So, as you can see, this is a 2D racer. And one of those ones where the ground just kind of goes up and down, and then we can change gear by pressing down, and then to the higher gear. For some reason, kilometers now. Oops. So there's traffic and stuff. Now this game is, I believe, based on certain European roads, um, and like, I think it's Italy, Switzerland, kind of Central Europe. Central and Western Europe countries, I believe. Um, you couldn't find anything decent. Oh, I do. I keep not realising I'm not in the top gear. And the time restrictions on this are pretty short. Um, are not great. You have to really be on the ball. The timing. And I also keep hitting the gear down key, I think. And this key controller. But I, I really like this game. Uh, now you've got split paths here. And choose where you want to go. I might go this way. As you can see, the timing is strict. Seconds, but luckily they give you more visually. And this is kind of the okay, arcade game. We get some harder as we go along. Um, obviously. Oh, and that's what happens if you hit something. Um, in the arcade game, she gets really annoyed at you. Like, Oi! She doesn't speak. <laughs> Here. Only two gears, just kind of like most of these racing games. But I mean, it can get pretty challenging around these corners. It's, it's just a really fun game. The the art style is awesome. It's simplistic, but it's um it's fun. Damn it! And I'm probably not gonna make it. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> But I enjoy it regardless. If you crash too many times, you're not going to make it. And three, two, one, you just kind of stop. <laughs> Got to stage two. I think we can get, probably get further. And that, and then we'll show you where you went. I think the aspect ratio is a little bit off just because of the fact that the game usually is. Yeah, I think you can get onto the board. Right, let's start this. Strike him, strike him. I'm going for a classic splash wave. <laughs> Feels kind of like California back here in stage one. I know there's like lots of environments, there's like ice environments, I there's even a tunnel at some point. Um, in 
terms of sequels to this game. Um, I, know, I think they did a 3D one at some point, and they've done all sorts of re-releases, like the current arcade game in different versions. Um, there's also, if you're talking unofficial, there's a port, there's a homebrew port of the actual arcade engine for a Wii. I mean, it's like a cannonball engine, and it's like a complete, like, completely accurate port of the arcade engine for the Wii, and it's even got dodgy, horrible motion controls that barely work. Um, I'm not you use them, but use any controller, but it's a really good port of the um, arcade game onto the Wii. No, oh, okay, I was going to go that way. But, okay, I'm not going that way, apparently. Uh, I did quicker as well. I think it adds, I think it adds on time as well, so that'd be good. Um, in terms of actual sequels, I think there was one of the Master System. <laughs> Very cool. There's, there's all sorts of weird little things for this game. Um, like little sequels on the Master System. There's like a, a future themed one on the Master System as well. Maybe we should make a video, video just about kind of Outrun. Quite interesting. I'm thinking about this, I've probably already done it. I record these videos quite a lot ahead of time, so at the moment it's the middle of October. I just want to go. Yeah, there's no. I have no idea where to go there. Um, I will need to select how far I am. I don't know if go in the middle, I guess. Um, hopefully, I'm coming towards the end. So I don't want to go to stage three. I'm just gonna stop. Ah, here we go. I'm gonna go this way. Into the ice mountains. Hopefully we'll get it. Come on. Yes, got it. I haven't got very long though. 56 seconds. I don't know if we'll be able to get the uh, road. This, this is the road. Is, the road is wide. Um. Ah. I to change gear or something. I really like this game. I think it's just like the aesthetic of the game, just the way it looks, the way it plays, the way it feels. It's just really fun to me. Just kind of the music as well. The music is awesome. Even though there's only like three tracks in the game, they're all awesome. No, not really possible. But I'm not caught out here. We're not going to make it, but uh, we can keep going. How far we got. So we usually need to know how far you got. Let's see if we can get last push, last push. Okay, so we got pretty far because I saw the um, crossroad sign. So we're almost to stage four. So I think that crash at the beginning just interesting the path we took. What which way? Let's go, let's go for E. So we keep going right. Didn't even get like these high scores so. though. I guess it's just speed. And speed is it's really hard, actually, to go around. Um, but what other, what other versions? I know there was the 3D one on, like, the Xbox 360 or something. Um, but I'm not sure anything about I don't know anything about that one. Um, and other ones, other sequels, and... All sorts of other versions. I think it's kind of just a very relaxing racing game, actually. You know, there's not much going on, it's just very relaxing and chill, you know? <laughs> but my aim will, of course, tr try and actually get to one of the endings. I don't know if you have to do it in 20 minutes, but... Uh... The music never changes, by the way, so... <laughs> You can't just hear the same music track for a while, but luckily they're like five minutes long, so they only loop minutes, which is awesome for video game music. And they jump in pieces. Absolute bangers. Um, and the controls are just what you'd expect. They're really like precise. Because I mean there's even though there's only like two directions of movement, the controls are really precise. 
some physics, like there's some weight to your car, you know what I mean? Like you feel like there's some decent weight. I like the timing system, ah, fuck it. I do like the timing system actually, and the way it kind of, you, it's progressive. You kind of gain time over time. You know? This would be, if I went to an arcade, right, this would be the game I would just sit at for hours and hours. I mean, I'd probably spend like a quid, ten quid on this game, just playing this game. Because it's me. So of course I would. I don't even know. Even though we had a really good start in stage one, I don't think we're going to make Mind. We'll try one more time. I think I'll probably have more time for one more. But I, again, it is this game is so simple that I don't know if uh... <clears throat> do I don't know if I get the light. I'm trying to say. I don't know if I like get anywhere really. No, I get Whatever. I enjoy the game. And you know the graphics are great because it's there. <laughs> and you can see how good the graphics are. And, um, I hope you like that. You like the game because I like the game. So. I look, I chased it the right time. for a reason. Maybe I'll, yeah, maybe, maybe I will have to do like a video on different like older Outrun games. Because there was like one called Outrun 2000 or something? That might have been that like future almost F-Zero like one. It was the same kind of style and it was really laggy on the Master System. I don't know if they released for other platforms. I'll have to look it up and have a look. But... Just give up. <laughs> Just reset this. Turn the console on and off again. That's what you're doing it. Just turn it off. We'll just alternate between the three different music tracks. I think we'll give it one more go. And then we'll, um... Yeah, we'll give it one more go. And then we'll, uh... Stop the video. Because it's, it's such a simple game that you kind of grasp it within five minutes really. I, if you can find a copy of Outrun anywhere, even if it's just the, you know, if, if it's the, the Wii, the homebrew port, or just one of the virtual console ports if there is one, or on like PlayStation Network if it exists, I don't know. I don't really check these things. Um, if 
probably won't be the PC Engine port, but this is not the best port anyway. It's a very good port. Very close to the original. Um, it's just not as accurate as some are. As, as in the original. Damn it, I'm really doing bad here. I keep getting distracted by the gear changes. I keep Finish this, Jesus. So you know, I said one more time, and I, ha this is, I know, I know this is how it always is. But you know how I said one more time. You know how I'm basically. You know what I'm gonna say now. We'll do it one more time. <laughs> oh God, I'm having fun. That's the thing. I'm genuinely having fun. I don't know why though. I just enjoy just like, it's chill, I think that's what it is, it's just a chill game, you just sit back, do a bit of driving, some chill music, and the music is master, sorry, but I just love music. In the Ferrari, I mean it's clearly a Ferrari, I think it was marked as a Ferrari, let's face it, it's a Ferrari, those 10 pixels on the front, and the fact that there's red, obviously making Ferrari. <coughs> Although they, th yeah. Uh, uh, I'm now distracted by the fact that the logo reverses every time you turn left. Which is, uh, you know, fix. fix. Try that I don't think about these things, I'm not too bad. Because the gears are mapped to like up and down, I actually end up like accidentally tapping up or down and stuff. Means I always drop down again. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> well, I'm just going to like dodgier and dodgier roads. I feel like the middle routes are easier. But they're long, but it's longer. That's just such a difficult. I need to actually break instead of just keep holding it. <laughs> Never mind. We almost got stage three. Okay, I think we'll end this video off here and um so close. Never mind. Yeah, we'll end the video off here. So uh That was Outrun. That was the also the second episode of a month of Turbimus. We've got another stupid amount to go. So well yeah. Thank you for watching this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Following will be my review of the game. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to the end screen. This is the part of the video. Like the video if you liked it. And if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. In the description, you can also find various links to various social media such as mine, Gab, and Discord, and other video platforms such as BitChute. Also, go to my channel. You can check out my subscriptions and hopefully find some new channels to subscribe to. In addition, although I don't do this for money, if you do wish to support me financially, you can do so through the Ethereum address in the description. So, thanks for listening, and now enjoy my review of the game I just played. Hello, and welcome to the review. I just like, hey, this is a review. It's chill. This is not going to be a very long review. Um, 
it's it's Outrun, you know. I mean, it's not really a lot to say about Outrun. It's a great game. It's fun. I enjoy it. It's, it's definitely great fun. Yeah, I, I don't really know what else to say. Um, to, like I said, uh, but I haven't mentioned already in the actual gameplay. I guess one thing I should mention is that these games weren't really chosen by me completely. I partly chose them at random. Um, I also just kind of looked up some of the best games for the PC Engine and decided you know, to actually, instead of completely playing random games, although even for Nesmus they weren't completely random, I had some kind of input into this. Um, I did choose games that are both I'd never really played before. Um, I tried to pick not just like shooters or shmups or cute em ups and stuff, but I tried to give a good mix um, of games. Um, um, okay, I like that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Come here. But, yeah. We've got an interesting list, I think. But overall, what I give the game? Um, very difficult. It's almost perfect. Any problems with the game? I guess sometimes, even though I said the physics were good, there is a little bit stiff at times, I feel. Although that's probably more my fault that it's stiff. I'm probably just doing it wrong, which is usually the case. I'm usually just doing it wrong. My cat is currently laid stretched out on the floor, um, and I can't reach him, so he's just going to sit there forever now. Oi! No, okay. Stupid cat. Uh, he is so stupid. What are you doing? Yeah. Form for the audience. Can't see you. Anyway. I don't want to give it a 10 out of 10. Because there's... I think the, 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 the music tracks are good, but there is a lack of them. And I feel like the game is a little bit hard, although I could reduce the difficulty, to be fair. I could have reduced the difficulty. I think the only issue for me was the cars. I mean, there's more cars in the arcade version. But here, they get in the way a lot more. It's difficult to tell whether you can fit through certain gaps. I think it's just because the game's a bit squished. Um, compared to how it is in the arcades. So I think that would be the only reason I'd want to give it a 9 out of 10. But otherwise, yeah, definitely a 9 out of 10. Um, all the way. There's no reason I, I don't think why I wouldn't give it a, you know, proper full-on, you know, uh... Uh, there's no real reason why I wouldn't give it a full on you know, good old 9 out of 10. So I think that would be my rating for Outrun. 9 out of 10? Just fix the gals a bit. And they can't because it's from 1990. But you know what I mean, actually, when is it from? Because I, I do write these things down. Uh, let's have a look. 1986 in arcades, 1990 it, for the PC Engine. I do write a few I do write a few notes down. I just kind of... There's not many. I want to go into this kind of semi-blind... Of course, Outrun, I've played a lot of Outrun, I know I'd like it. It's kind of ease me into the series. Anyway, a short review than last time. Um, it's because there's nothing else really to say. But, one thing I would say is, like I said, the games. I'm not going to reveal any of the games, I do want to keep them to surprise. The issue with this series I'm facing is I don't want it to become robotic. I don't want it to become too structured, I kind of like a little bit of... I don't want to become kind of just doing things for the sake of doing things. I want to do them just because I enjoy them and not because I want to make videos that are, you know, that like. The way I've done these things is very efficient. You know, I've started the middle of October, which I you know, actually started towards the end of August in terms of actually planning this and making thumbnails and things. So I try to do it as efficient as possible. And there's not going to be so much of a rush as last year, where I was doing it right until the last minute. I think it's just because I've kind of settled into the whole kind of YouTube thing now. Where I can just calm down a bit, and just make videos. And I've kind of done this as a sort of yeah, a long-term, you know, I mean, this is going to take me 15 hours to record all of these videos. Um, of course I'm not doing it, I'm going to be doing, you know, one, one, two, possibly three a day. Um, because I have until November, really, don't I, so. I'm not going to push, rush myself or anything like that, but, you know, just a fun little series that's 
also going to stretch me a bit. And of course, you know, I've never have really got into the PC Engine, and it's something that I kind of want to do. And I am doing by just playing 31 <laughs> of each. Hello, of each individual game. Anyway, I'll pretty quick this, do end this quickly because I've got the cow of my room. So, the game tomorrow. We're watching right to the end. Begins with a B, ends with a f with a number four. I've narrowed it out way too much, but it begins with a B and ends with a number four. It's got an apostrophe. Pardon me, Jesus. Begins with a ends with a the letter's got an apostrophe. It's got an apostrophe in it. And well, that's a nice way of forming it. Sorry, that hurts your ears and bet it does. What cat? There you go. But you can't even even. But he's here. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it tomorrow. Um, so, thank you for watching. Take care. Like I said, I think I probably said earlier, check out the links in the description. It's, I mean, it's Halloween soon, so, I mean, a couple of weeks. And it's also, I don't, I don't really want to say the word Brexit, but I, I wonder what happened. You know, it's interesting because you won't hear this until December, the second of December to be exact. But Brexit doesn't even happen yet. Think about that. I'm in the past, man. <sighs> Two months until he releases. Anyway, yes. Thanks for watching. But end this quickly. Say that a lot. I always kind of double back and go back on myself. Ah, stop. End this video. Good night. Good night. Possibly. Bye.